All right, we'll go live uh, quickly. We want to introduce the asshole consulting introduction. So we have a <clears throat> math question. <clears throat> uh, we can mention uh, he goes broke, unemployed, boomer, banker. Uh, I, and I, to be honest with you, I won't mention your name, but you've way overthought this. Someone was confused by my strategy to get my mortgage paid down. So let me explain to you again the general strategy for the listening audience if you didn't tune in before. Uh, I have contacted, uh, my audience among the cool guys over at rule zero and any other people within my network. I say, Hey, look, if you're going to buy my book or any book for that matter, or hire me, whatever, if you are intending to buy one of my products within this year, or in the case of the rule zero guys and other colleagues, if you're planning on doing a kind of promotion, like to help out my book, cause we all kind of help each other out and scratch each other's back, that kind of thing. Could you do it now? <clears throat> because my house, which is being built, is uh, going. It's, it's not about to be completed, but it's about two months out from being completed. And uh, how construction loans work is you build your house, and uh, there's an estimate as to how much that would cost, and uh, you'll you get a construction loan from the bank to cover those costs. And upon the completion of your house, whatever the balance is been drawn from the bank, they take that balance, you know, 250,000, 300,000, whatever. And they create, they roll that into a traditional 30 year mortgage. And so, uh, wishing I had come up with the idea before I'm like, Oh wait, we're almost at that ninth hour. I said, if I can show up at the bank Let's say my balance is two hundred fifty thousand. My construction loan they 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 lent out two hundred fifty thousand to build my house. Instead of rolling that two hundred fifty thousand into a two hundred fifty thousand dollar thirty year mortgage mortgage, if I bring cash and pay it down, let's say fifty thousand, we're only going to have a two hundred thousand dollar mortgage, and then I save the uh, thirty year lifespan of that mortgage worth of interest on that $50,000. And so I was not asking for a bailout. And that's why my Hanyaker audience listeners are like, oh, bailout Cappy, oh, by the way, he beats dogs. <clears throat> so there, there was much, much uh, fun had at my expense in the previous video. But the whole point is, look, if you're planning on buying my book or any services or whatever, could you do it now? Oh, by the way, if you were going to promote me, could you do it now? Because you you don't wait two years to then roll the construction loan into the mortgage. They do it pretty much right away. So I was already intending on bringing whatever cash I had within reason to, to make that, that balance as low as possible. <clears throat> I said, well, if I can accelerate, get people to who are going to buy a book three months from now or four months from now, procrastinators like, hey, you do me a huge favor. Because it's not just making me my profit on the book, but you're going to save me three, four, five times the amount on interest. <clears throat> that now is the time. And unfortunately, we're up against a little bit of a clock. So this gentleman was confused. He says, uh, I don't understand the math and the tax logic. Aaron, just watched watching the video on huge favor about pushing book royalties forward. Something doesn't make sense to me. Assumptions pay brought forward by two months. He received this pay as a Minnesota resident rather than a South Dakota resident. Inc incremental pay is about ten thousand. Any amount will work there. So let's just operate from ten thousand. <clears throat> Interest on the mortgage loan is three percent. Your Minnesota tier tax rate is six point eight. Could be seven point eight five. I'd have to look at it. South Dakota income tax rate is zero point zero percent. Calculate savings on prepay mortgage. Ten thousand for two months at three percent. So <clears throat> you take ten thousand times parentheses three times a percent divided by two divided by 12 months savings. So you're saying for, I'm, I'm saving, uh, I calculate my savings on the prepay mortgage of 10,000 times the only two months of the 12 months prorated at 3% equals the saving. Uh, 10 times 0 0.03 times 0 0.166, that's the math there, equals 50 in savings over two months. Actually, I get 50. Okay, you get some exchange. When I account for the second month, the $25 savings of the first month. Min taxes paid in Minnesota to the accountant income earnest of South Dakota. 
$680, which is 6.8% paid to Minnesota. According to my math, you will lose $630 on every incremental $10,000 you bring in to prepay your mortgage. As you see, I'm not following something. I'm missing something. Do you just like paying Minnesota state taxes because some of it goes to the Wona State Departments of Leadership and Efficacy Program? I made a $50 PayPal donation with the title, Don't Understand the Math and Logic. And yes, you are uh, missing something. And then you uh, sent me another email because I was like, I'm, I'm confused on it. You further explained it. So way off. Forget everything you, th you thought. <laughs> For everything you thought. The, the key is to realize I don't save interest expense on just two months. I save it over the life of the mortgage, 30 years, which is, uh, what is 30 years? 360 months. Is that right? 360. Yeah, it's 30 years. Uh, now of course, the more you pay, uh, the shorter the amortization would be, but we're not going, we're just knocking it down before we even sign it and roll it over into a, a permanent 30 year mortgage. So the real math, and I got the Excel spreadsheet. Now, it's not going to be perfect uh, on two accounts because it's going to be amortized. Technically, every $10,000 that we bring forward and I pay it down by would not be, oh, $10,000 forever, although you could look at it that way. It technically be amortized or in an amortization schedule. Um, oh, and then uh, what, no, what was the other thing, the math? I forget it. It, it, it doesn't matter because here, here's what you were missing, all right? Uh, it's, I'm saving interest on that $10,000 for 30 years. That's how long I have to pay interest on that balance. Now, of course it would be paid down and you could argue, okay, well, you brought back 50,000 on your mortgage. So you should take that away at the tail end. But if you do the math here, let's just say it's 10,000, um, you're 10,000. So I got that there. Uh, you said 3%, so we'll keep that consistent. So let's do it. Divide that by 12. So it's a 0 0.00. Oh, did I do that right? Yes, 0.0025% interest rate per month. So I equals that times that. So I'm saving $25 a month on interest. You erroneously assumed that I would stop paying interest on it in, in two months which the bank would be very upset about. I When I sign the mortgage, I'm obliged to pay interest on whatever remaining balance for 30 years. So it really is. And if, again, this does not, oh, that was the other thing. <clears throat> this does not include inflation as well. We're not adjusting for the time value of money. We're just talking nominal money here. So that $10,000 in extra sales uh, will generate me $25 a month. Now, $25 a month, times 12 times 36, no, times 30, I'm sorry, 12 months for 30 years. That equals $9,000 in savings. Again, we would have to do a net present value calculation to bring that back in today's time. But basically, if I get $10,000 in sales, it's going to save me, you know, I get my sales as well, but it will save me $9,000 in interest. And you say, oh, well, wait, you're losing money of a thousand. No, no, no. I'd, I'd have to be paying back that money anyway. All right. So this is this is just, you know, accelerating this this back uh, uh, to make this prepayment, essentially. So, yeah, like you can see where um, a little bit of money now will go a long way down the road. And so it's not fifty dollars. It's nine thousand dollars. Now, again, it would be less if we adjusted for inflation and you'd be accelerating amortization, blah, 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 blah. But that's that's where the math is. Uh, it's it's a lot of savings. Uh, <clears throat> the competent man for two bucks stuck getting a fifteen year mortgage instead of thirty. No, because I've I don't have faith. I have faith in myself. I don't have faith in society. Like I did, I worked my ass off to get straight A's in college. Worked real hard. Got three internships under my belt. <clears throat> I mean, it couldn't have gone any better. And my employment was so unstable. And anytime something good would happen, we'd have a recession. Uh, we get laid off, uh, whatever. People would get busted for embezzlement and we're under investigation. I have no faith 
that the good times are going to roll and I will have stable income. So I want the lowest mortgage payment possible. And if I, if I have extra money, I will make advanced principal payments. Right? That's the lowest risk. Yeah. If you're a ward cleaver and you're an engineer and you know, you're whatever, uh, you're in like Flynn and you know, you're going to be the corporate man for it. Okay, fine. Get a 15 year more. Or if you're a government employee, your employment is more secure. If you're a podcasting internet self-published author dope like me, no, no, no. You, you get the lowest monthly payment. And then if times are good, then we pay, then we pay an accelerator. Um, and I will probably have it paid off easily by 15 years. Yeah. If things keep going the way they are very easily, 15 years. Um, Wealthplex five bucks. I just bought $80 worth of your book. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wealthplex. Uh, I put 50, uh, 50K down on my cheap duplex. It's good to be a free man. Glad to help bail you up with, with shit. We'll, we'll share books. How did you bail me out if you bought something in exchange? It was voluntary free exchange. I did. I'm sorry. When, when we all bailed out the bankers, did the bankers give you books? Did they give you a, a foot rub? Did they even give you an ice cream? No, I, you bought my books willingly. So for example, I think it looks, let's just do very simple math. It's 90%. <clears throat> so that saved me. What's it? $80. So, okay. So now if I take wealth plexes, 80 bucks, he spent on books. And I pay down my, you know, uh, lower the, the construction loan balance before we permanently finance it. That's like a free 72 bucks for me. See, don't you guys kind of feel good? Like, hey, I, I, I bought all these books. I got these books, but I also saved Cappy $72. Somewhere in the spreadsheets, there's a, uh, what's it called? There's a, um. Net present value calculation. I'm not going to bother with it. So, and then Justin House, he bought two books today. Thank you, Justin. Thank you very much. So, there you go. All right. Questions, answers, assholeconsulting.com. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.